Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Megan Wasson, a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon and chair of the Department of Medical and Surgical Gynecology at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I see many patients with pelvic pain stemming from endometriosis. Let's take a few minutes to review some of the symptoms associated with endometriosis, as well as the diagnosis and treatment. Endometriosis is a condition that affects approximately one in 10 reproductive aged individuals. It occurs when cells similar to the lining of the uterus or endometrium grow outside of the uterus. During a menstrual cycle or period, this tissue responds to hormones and frequently results in pain. Endometriosis is most frequently seen in the peritoneum or the thin tissue paper lining of the pelvis. It can affect other pelvic structures and result in endometriosis filled cysts on the ovaries. These are called endometriomas. They can also cause scarring of the fallopian tubes. Sometimes the bowel and bladder can also be affected. Less commonly, endometriosis can affect areas outside of the pelvis, including the diaphragm and chest cavity. Regardless of the location or extent of disease, the team at Mayo Clinic in Arizona is well equipped to aggressively and thoroughly evaluate, diagnose, and treat both superficial and deep infiltrating endometriosis. The most common symptom of endometriosis is pelvic pain that is beyond normal menstrual cramping. This can occur either during or outside of the normal menstrual cycle or period. The pain associated with endometriosis can sometimes be severe and debilitating, causing individuals to miss time from their normal activities like work and school. Other symptoms include pelvic pain or cramps that begin before and extend after a menstrual period, lower back or abdominal pain, pain with intercourse, pain with bowel movements or urination, and infertility. Individuals with endometriosis may also experience fatigue, constipation, bloating, or nausea, especially during periods. The diagnosis of endometriosis begins by reviewing the symptoms an individual is experiencing. This includes the location of the pain, factors that make it better or worse, and other symptoms that may be present. Next, a pelvic exam and imaging may be recommended to further evaluate the pelvic structures, including the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, bladder, and bowel. The radiology team at Mayo Clinic in Arizona has specialists in the detection of endometriosis on imaging. Advanced ultrasound and MRI are used to provide a thorough evaluation for deep infiltrating endometriosis. Together, the radiology team collaborates with the gynecology team during our endometriosis board meetings to ensure clear understanding of the degree and location of endometriosis involving organs throughout the abdomen and pelvis. This optimizes patient counseling and preoperative planning for those undergoing surgery. A pelvic exam and advanced imaging may further raise the suspicion for endometriosis and give insight into the extent of disease, but to definitively diagnose endometriosis, surgery is required. This is most commonly performed by laparoscopy. While the patient is under general anesthesia, we insert a camera and surgical instruments into the abdomen through small incisions to evaluate for any areas visually concerning for endometriosis. Any tissue that looks like endometriosis or is in an area we frequently find endometriosis is removed and examined under the microscope to confirm the presence or absence of endometriosis. Treatment of endometriosis is centered on an individual's quality of life. The first step frequently involves symptom management through pain medications or hormone therapy. Hormones such as birth control pills stabilize the rise and fall of estrogen and progesterone in the menstrual cycle and can help decrease pain in some patients. Medication is not considered a cure for endometriosis, but rather a means to help control symptoms. If initial medical treatment fails, is poorly tolerated, or a patient does not desire use of hormones, and symptoms are impacting a person's quality of life, surgery to remove endometriosis tissue may be considered. Regardless of the location and extent of endometriosis, full removal of the disease provides the best opportunity for long-term symptom improvement. 
At Mayo Clinic in Arizona, our multidisciplinary team collaborates to provide the best possible outcomes for our patients. Together with urology, cardiothoracic surgery, gynecologic oncology, radiology, and any other needed surgical specialists, the gynecologic surgery team facilitates aggressive excision of endometriosis through a minimally invasive approach regardless of the location. When necessary, removal of endometriosis from the bowel, bladder, ureter, abdominal wall, diaphragm, chest cavity, pericardium, or any other structures will be completed. Every endometriosis surgery involves a thorough evaluation of the abdominal cavity to ensure that the true extent of disease is identified. Our team is then able to remove any endometriosis encountered. Together, we work with our patients to provide care centered around their needs, their symptoms, and their endometriosis to give patients back the quality of life they deserve. If you would like to meet with any one of our endometriosis specialists, either virtually or in person, contact Mayo Clinic in Arizona to schedule a consultation. We look forward to seeing you soon.